Now that we use the combination of chemotherapy and immunotherapy for patients with advanced non small cell lung cancer in first line, we frequently use docetaxel as a second line treatment. Docetaxel is an old drug that is quite toxic and with limited efficacy. There are two main antiandrogenic agents that have been combined with docetaxel and uh, uh, ramucirumab and nantedanib modestly improve the survival in this setting. We uh, uh, just need a new combination in second line for those patients. Ultimate is a study sponsored by the French intergroup IFCT. It's an open label randomized phase three study for patients with non-squamous NLCLC. EGFR mutation and ALK rearrangement uh, were eligible if the patients were pretreated by TKIs. Uh, the control arm was docetaxel, 75 milligram per meter square each three weeks, and the experimental arm combined weekly paclitaxel, so it's uh, 90 milligram per meter square on day one, day eight, and day 15, of a 28-day cycle. Bevacizumab was added at day one and day 15 at the dose of 10 milligram per kg. The trial was stratified based on the performance status, 0, 01 versus 2, uh, the number of trial line, uh, 1 versus 2, and the prior exposure to bevacizumab. Randomization was done in a 2 to 1 fashion, two patients in the experimental arm, one patient in the control arm. Ultimate is a positive trial. Uh, 166 patients were randomized between the two regimen, and PFS, the primary endpoint, was increased from 3.9 months in the control arm to 5.4 months in the experimental arm. Uh, it's an average ratio of uh, 0.61, and the p-value is 0.005, so highly significant. Uh, there was no uh, safety signal, even less hematological toxicities with the combination of paclitaxel and bevacizumab. There were no OS benefits seen because crossover was allowed. The patient that received the cetaxel in the control arm could receive the combination of paclitaxel and bevacizumab subsequently. So the combination is clearly more active than docetaxel. And one of uh, the interesting results of the study is that the overall response rate went from 5.5% to 22.5% in the combo arm. And I think that in symptomatic patients that really need tumor reduction to have less symptoms, uh, be able to give a highly uh, effective treatment in second line is, is a, a key uh, uh, element, is a strategy. Of note, the patients that were pre treated with bevacizumab in first line has uh, had less effect of the combination. We are dealing with uh, a very large number of patients because, as I said, most patients receive the combination of chemo and immunotherapy up front. So this new setting is a setting where there is resistance to platinum-based chemotherapy and resistance to immunotherapy. So we need new strategy with new drugs either to resensitize to immunotherapy, and this is one of the main focus on the clinical research at the moment, even if there is no clear target uh, uh, that is effective so far. And the other way is to use new chemotherapy, and uh, uh, new chemotherapy can be also targeted chemotherapy, uh, such as uh, what we call the ADCs, uh, which are the uh, antibody drug conjugate, uh, it's chemo that is vectorized by an anti antibody to go directly uh, to the cancer cells that express um, the target of the antibody. Well, this is not perfectly specific, but it's probably a good way to uh, uh, renew and readdress the question of chemotherapy in, in these patients.